So, let's do some fun CVP questions. Since we've learned so much about break-even points, uh, after-tax break-even points, sales mix, we'll be seeing a few of those questions in uh, other question sets, but these are kind of the basic CVP questions, so let's start on these first. And we'll begin with this question right here. So a hockey arena has variable costs, which are 20% of total revenue, and fixed costs of 40 million. Let's find the break-even point in revenue. So if you remember our equation, we have, uh, I need my brush, sales minus variable costs minus fixed costs is equal to zero. All right, let's start plugging in things. So we have sales minus, we can rewrite variable costs by saying it is 20% of sales or total revenue. So we can say minus 0 0.2 SP minus, we can plug in that number which is 40 million dollars for our fixed cost is equal to zero. When we simplify we have SP minus 0 0.2 SP and SP is just one SP because a, a loan variable means uh, it is only one unit. So we have 0 0.8 SP, move the 40,000 to the other side, or not the 40,000, 40 million to the other side, and we get 0 0.8 SP is equal to 40 million. And of course, to find total revenue, we divide by 0 0.8 to isolate for sales or total revenue in order to break even. And that will give us our answer of $50 million of total revenue in order to break even. And if you notice, this is also the same equation as fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio gets you your total revenue in order to break even. Awesome. Next question. So now that we have figured out that it takes $50 million worth of revenue to break even, what is the average, or when we have 40,000 people that come to our arena um, for, actually this should be for each game, uh, what is the average revenue uh, per person? And we'll say that a season is 82 games. So, that, so if 40,000 people come by each game and there's 82 games, what is the average revenue uh, the person must bring in to for the company to break even. So we know that the break even point is 50 million dollars worth of revenue. So all we have to do is we just have to, in our denominator, we just have to put here the number of people in total that are going to be purchasing tickets over the course span of the season, which is 40,000 people a game and there's 82 games so that will give us well a dot, a dot I'm using as a time symbol um, it should be 50 million divided by 40,000 times 82 is 3,280,000 and this is going to equal 50 million, divided by 3, 2, 8, 1, 2, I think that's 3, yes, $15 and, 15 and 24 cents of revenue per person is needed for this hockey arena uh, to break even and recover their fixed costs, alright? But most likely knowing uh, sports arenas like the Toronto Maple Leafs, you will not get a ticket for fifteen dollars. You'll probably find something in the in the vicinity of maybe fifteen hundred dollars for a playoff game. So this question is not entirely realistic, but that is the amount of revenue they have to rake in in order to break even for this fixed cost amount. All right, next question. Oops. Okay, we have two situation here, two situations here. 
um, situation one, situation two. There are fixed costs for each, 200,000 and 400,000. We have variable costs of each situation, $8. Um, a unit and four dollars a unit and we have orders of seventy thousand each which situation has less costs it should be an easy one all we have to do is find out which has less costs so two hundred thousand plus eight times seventy thousand equals two hundred plus I think that's five hundred sixty thousand so that's seven hundred and sixty thousand I believe and we have for situation two 400,000 of fixed cost plus 4 times 70,000 which is 280,000 so 280,000 plus 400,000 is 680,000 hopefully my mental math is good <laughs> uh, so those are the costs and since this cost is less than situation 1 situation Two is is the better situation, or is the more cost-effective? Of the two, all right. And the last question is, what is the break-even point where you're going to be indifferent between choosing situation one or two? So, in order to set this up, we we're going to put we're going to have our um, variable cost and our fixed cost for one situation on the left side. So it's going to look like this. 200,000 plus 8x. So these are our costs for situation one because all there are are fixed costs and variable costs in, a, in essentially a cost function is equal to situation two's 400,000, which is their fixed cost, plus 4x. And the reason we set them to be equal to each other is because we want to find the break-even point where we're indifferent. So these have to equal each other or else it would not be, or else we would be uh, not be indifferent between both situations. And all we do is we just simplify. We move the 400,000 over to the left by subtracting it. So we'll have negative 200,000 over on the left. Move the 8 over to the right side by subtracting it and we'll have negative 4x over on the right isolate for y or isolate for x and we have x is equal to uh, what is that that's 50,000 yes so the number of orders in which we'll be indifferent between situation 1 and 2 is 50,000 and that's how we do those questions alright I'll have more CVP questions for you in a different presentation. See you guys later.